Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing for Spin Fishing character. Today, I decided we'll do at least one more day here at Cory while we're here. So, started off with a 930 gram Arctic Char. I barely got going before that was on the hook, so figured I'd go ahead and get started. Looks like we got a small fish over here. No setup changes from the last time. Tiny perch. Hopefully we have a little bit of a better day. We'll see how it goes. And we'll go from there. Was a very nice day in the 60s. We're going to get uh, up to the 70s and 80s the rest of the week, but a good possibility of rain. So hopefully it's not too bad there. Possibility of some thunderstorms, but I don't think it's supposed to be too bad. We're late in the year for bad thunderstorms. And they're even saying tonight after midnight. Strong storms in far northern northwest part of my state. Thursday evening and over at night, slight risk of severe thunderstorms. So now they're saying we're going to get some decent wind. That's always fun. 40 to 60 mile an hour gusts, which that's not horrible at all. Looks like it's going to be worse uh, west of us. Ooh, there are fish on here as I was reeling this one in. I think there's a fish on one too, I'm not sure. I did not expect to get whatever this thing is. It's an arctic char on the spinner. Still a small one, but it at least got me XP. Or, uh, not XP. Got me XP, of course, but, uh, spin fishing percentage points. There's a fish over on two, and there's a fish on one now. What do we have here? Small perch. Not uh, worth it. I think this fish got caught on the island. Yeah, it's not big enough. I heard it pulling some drag there, but it was just the fish getting caught on the island in the boat <coughs> causing the drag. 418 gram Arctic char. Definitely not going to pull that much drag. On an HSV at least. Maybe a smaller reel. Actually going to go check another site for the weather because every time you look at the weather it's different. Yeah, we're in the 70s right now. Or right at 70 right now. And it is about 7.30 at night, so... I call that pretty reasonable, pretty normal for this time of year here. Yeah, tomorrow 81 for a high, but thunderstorms 80s. This so weekend 62 for a high, then Saturday 58. Wow, it's gonna get cold again. Not quite too winter-like temperatures yet, but they're coming. And a couple of 40s for lows. Small fish here. Very small fish. And it was a Vendus, but it was a non-marker Vendus, so it really was a small fish. We're still on the first three-day boat ticket that we bought. I have not used a new ticket. I do have a new ticket, so when the time comes, we can definitely take advantage of that. I think I've got about... Six hours left. 
right around the time we get to nighttime. So far, I haven't seen anyone else catch anything decent here, so it's not just me. Small laker, not even worth talking about. There's a fish over on one. There's a fish chasing this one. I don't know if you can see it. I can. That's why I stopped. Even if it was just a crappy small perch. And I wasn't 100% sure there was a fish on one. And I'm kind of glad I stopped because there wasn't. Fishy fish. Come on, fish. Ooh. Got something here. Looks like a big eyed. Might be a white fish. I think it's an eyed. Yep, one kilo eyed. I think that's the first chat worthy fish of the day. Another decent fish right away. Might be a marker like her. It's going to be close. 1.397. Spoons are not doing much today. Small perch. There's a fish on two. This one bit as I was already reeling in. That's a big perch. I don't know how big. 1.244, not bad. And some more spin fishing uh, percentage points. It's one of the first big perches I've gotten since they redid it. Another decent sized perch here. Or not. Always think perch are bigger here than they should be. And especially since they've redone them. I just cannot tell what is and what isn't a marker. Just missed a marker arctic char. I want to try the orange one. It being a cloudy day, let's let's see what happens. Tossing the orange one in there, make it a little more visible. Come 
big fish. Wow, boy, it's not one to stay with me. Come on, big fish. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's raining soon. My knees starting to act up. Not too bad, but it's definitely noticeable. I've had a lot worse pain than now, though. There's a fish over on one. Nope, that was just a reflection. Thought I saw a fish chasing this. That looks like a decent perch. Devil perch. 666. tired and it's only Tuesday. I did have a fairly busy weekend though, so I'm not entirely surprised. Small Vendis. Marker perch and something's pulling drag over on two. For a second at least. Couple kilo Arctic char, three point five five, not bad, four thousand XP. It's looking for my cell phone underneath the laptop, and it was sitting on the Armrest. Just lost track of where it was. This one had us while I was looking for the phone. I had to close this reel, so this uh, Laker had a chance to pull out some extra line. Probably a marker. Yep, one and a half. 
right at one and a half. Couldn't try to, couldn't make that happen even if I wanted to. Found out I'm about to have my fourth boss this year, which will be interesting. Won't be too bad. My current boss is going to be my new boss's boss. That kind of makes sense. It's going to be interesting long term. And I don't know exactly when that's happening either, but it's always fun to have four four bosses. One of them is gone. One of them's in charge of a different group now. Small, small Arctic Char there. Decent fish here on rod three. And obviously, we're pretty committed to this fish. Since we can't put this rod down, we just got to crank on it until we get it. Keep in mind, this is not an amazing rod. It's only about a 10 kilo rod. And it's pretty worn out, honestly. I actually need to do a check of all my equipment and see how worn out it is. I think we're also getting close to the end of the boat ticket. Although I did, I think I cut last episode off early if I remember correctly. We might have more time than I thought. I didn't actually look. I realized when I got in the boat that uh, I killed OBS off earlier because it was using a whole bunch of memory. So while I was getting in the boat in game I was starting to OBS up and not paying attention to what the game was telling me as far as how much time was left on the boat. Four point seven six five kilo lake trout. Not bad. Two thousand XP on it. I did not go as far down as I thought I did. Three hundred and forty seven gram perch. All right, let's check the equipment. So right now blank's good, so that's how strong your rod is. Line guards are a little worn out, but that's not bad at all. That does, just wears your line out a little bit more. All of this is pretty normal. Um, that's interesting. Didn't show me. Oh, it's just a different. I didn't recognize the uh, graphics. Mechanism is fine at 5% and friction brakes only at 3% worn. So. That rod is in very good shape. This rod. Line guard's a little bit more worn out, so we'll wear the line a little bit quicker. 
mechanism is also a little bit more worn out at 16%. So this means it will pull in, it'll only allow 16% of 15 kilos or 16% less force of 15 kilos. So that's, you know, eight kilos, one and a half. So that's about two kilos less. So uh, rod two only can put brakes on about uh, 13 kilos of force. Nice 300 kilo perch there, or 300 gram perch. 300 kilo perch, my god, that would be huge. This rod, I'm gonna guess the uh, mechanism is 22%, so it's fairly worn. And friction brake is fairly worn as well, too. But not horrible. I've had a lot worse. I usually try and go down to 25 to 50% friction brake or mechanism wear before replacing them. The mech weight of your rods, for those of you who may not know, is a hidden value. So the HSVs, while they have a friction brake that are 15 kilos, they have a mechanism that's around 30, I think it's about 31 kilo uh, mechanism. So you could lock the reel and a fish that pulls 30, less than 30 kilos will not break the reel. But if it puts more thirty more than thirty kilos of force on it, which the boat would probably make it difficult there too, uh, you can still break your reel. So the more wear to the mechanism, the lower that is. So if you're, you know, let's say for easy number's sake, you got a ten kilo mech weight, and your mechanism is twenty percent worn, that means it can only have an uh, twenty percent less capacity. So you'd be an eight kilo mechanism then so that's how it works for mechanism friction brake and uh, the blank of your rod the line guard the line guards on your rod just wear the more wear to them the more wear that is put onto your line again that's another 50 percent ish one that i usually look to repair or replace beach the boat there on that little part that sticks out like I do at least once an episode here. Especially when I'm talking. And line also works like your friction brake. So the more worn out it is, like here I'm 1% on 10 kilos, so I'm really 9.9 .9 kilos. Small fish. Yeah, cursed perch. 311 gram perch. I must be getting close to the end of the boat ticket. I just uh, seen the upper corner there. Select the next boat ticket. Well, we've gotten a lot of fish. It's just not been amazing, so I may just wrap things up a little bit early. I'm a little tired today. My voice is not wanting to stay with me either. So. I think I'm just going to call it a day when the boat ticket runs out, unless we get something good. Got 42 minutes in game on the boat. Oh, this freaking game. And I'm done. Again. I just reeling on a fish, just like you always would. And it just pops off for no reason. This account has had way too many of those. And it's got me frustrated, so we're going to call it. <laughs> I think the dog can tell I'm frustrated. He just put his nose on my arm.
And we did get 30 fish in 25 minutes, so not bad on the quantity. I think the quality was not amazing, though. Now, we do have five perch that we can sell here. Five non-marker perch for 1170, or six non-marker perch for 1170. Uh, we did get that big eyed, so there's 18. Don't think we got an 800 gram grayling, no roaches. We did not get eight big perches, no bream, bream, or pipe. Wow, three bream type orders and no big old char. That was what, uh, 39 silver? 29 silver? Yeah, 29 silver so far. Basically 30. And we get another 51. So 81 silver in 30 minutes or 25 minutes. Not horrible, honestly. Gets us up over 2,000. So hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back again tomorrow over on the float character. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye now.